If I'm Devontae Freeman and I have an offer from the Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, why on earth would I even think about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? They stink! Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Dingbat here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, then... let's get rid of that. Uh, at this point, uh, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. Dallas still stinks. How are you doing, King Ding? But here's so a quick little video. Apparently, we got a little bit of Eagles news to talk about. Um, we've heard so much about the Eagles wanting to add a veteran running back. We've heard McCoy, Freeman, Carlos Hyde, and we've heard this. This story has been going on for a long time. Well, apparently, the Eagles have finally made some con contract offers to these guys. Apparently, right now, as we speak, Devontae Freeman, he has a contract offer on the table for the from the Eagles. He also has one on from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he's mulling which team he should go to. How could there even be a choice? How could there be a choice? Why on earth would anybody want to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the Philadelphia Eagles? I don't get it. I don't get it. Tom Brady's old. He's in his 40s. The guy goes golfing and he splits his pants. You know you're done when you split your pants on a golf course. Okay? It's time to hang it up. Tampa Bay's old. They stink. You, you want to go to a real team, you go to the Eagles. So, Devontae Freeman, he has an offer on the table. Who knows what he's going to do? Now, this comes all from Jeff McClain, who's reporting that the Eagles put an offer on the table for him. Um, also, apparently, the Eagles put an offer on the table for Carlos Hyde, and Carlos Hyde chose Seattle over the Eagles. So once again, the Eagles were outbid. Now, I'm not sure what they gave for Carlos Hyde or what he took to go to Seattle, but it's pretty interesting because Devontae Freeman, he turned down a contract like around the $4 million range um, from Seattle, he wants to be paid more. So what are the Eagles offering him? I mean, really, if he's going to accept an offer by the Eagles, uh, is it is it is it more than four million dollars a year? Uh, it just seems like a lot of money uh, to me. But I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to go to Seattle. He just didn't want to go out west. I can't blame him for that. To be honest with you, I can't blame him for that. I would I would take less to stay east, but that's just me. Um, now. Devontae Freeman, if he comes to the Eagles, I think, I think, you know, he's not really that bruiser. He's not that big short yardage back that we were talking about yesterday when we were talking about uh, Leonard Fournette, right? Uh, he's not that kind of guy. To me, he's a guy that is kind of in the role of a Miles Sanders. So you're strictly getting a backup. You're strictly getting a backup who, who may get a few carries here or there, but he's got to be willing to be the backup. And this may be the problem. This may be why Devontae Freeman is thinking of not coming to Philly. Um, apparently, according to Jeff McClain, the Eagles are still interested uh, in Shady McCoy, although they have made no offers. And what that tells me is that they know Shady ain't going nowhere. He's he's going to be out there on the market a while. He's going to be real cheap. And if they need him at some point, they can always get him back. No problem. In the meantime, they'll go and they'll try to get guys who they think have a little more left in the tank. And so they tried to get Carlos Hyde, which I don't blame him for at all. Then now they're putting offers on the table for Devontae Freeman. Like I said, I'm I'm so so on this move. I guess as a backup running back, fine, he'd be fine. He'll do his job, all those things, if he can stay healthy. Um, me personally, yeah, I want the big bruiser back. I want the guy who's the thunder to Miles Sanders Lightning. And and to be honest with you, I, I if it's between Devontae Freeman and keeping what you have of giving the young guys a chance, I don't mind giving the young guys a chance. You know what I mean? But I'm curious about this whole thing because if Devontae Freeman turned down $4 million from Seattle, 
What do the Eagles offer him? Five million, six million? Uh, that's a lot of money. You, like I said, you could trade and get Leonard Fournette for four point one million dollars. You know what I mean? But the Eagles may not want to do it. So it's going to be interesting. I, I assume Freeman's going to decide within the coming weeks between the Eagles and the Buccaneers, and you know maybe the Buccaneers are more appealing because they have Brady, because they have all these weapons. You know I give the Bucks a hard time, but they could be a dangerous team in all truthfulness if if they have anything left, if Brady has anything left. So maybe he wants to go there. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that there's an offer on the table for Devontae Freeman by the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know what's going to happen. They already put an offer for Carlos Hyde. He took Seattle. Seattle beats us out on a player again. I'm getting sick and tired of always losing to Seattle when it comes to getting players, when it comes to playing games. I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of that team, to be honest with you. Um, so, who knows? We'll see if the Eagles get him. And if they don't get Devontae Freeman, I assume then the, the, the fallback is going to be Shady. They just bring Shady back real cheap. And, and maybe that's a better move, to be honest with you. Uh, it would be... It would be kind of cool in, in some ways. I've talked about this before because I hate the way he left. But I don't know what he's got left. I don't know what he's got left. So that's kind of what's going on this morning. This running back whole situation takes another turn and just keeps going and going. And it's dragging out ridiculously. Just get a running back and let's be done with it. I'm ready, I'm ready for football to start right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. But we'll see. You'll probably see me later today. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Put in the comment section what you guys think is going on. And don't be a dingbat.